So today we're going to make a very delicious and simple fish curry. So shall we see how to make it? Then let's go. So we'll add about two teaspoons of coconut oil in a hot kadai, and we'll add about one teaspoon of crushed ginger garlic. one onion that's a medium sized onion sliced slice it thinly and crush it with your hands and add it so it cooks faster to this we'll add some salt to fasten the cooking process and we will saute the onions till it turns light golden brown we'll sprinkle some water so that the onions don't get burnt. We'll add about one medium sized ripe tomato chopped. Saute it. We'll cover and cook it for about two minutes on low flame. This will help our tomatoes get cooked faster so now we'll mash it with the back of a spoon. Now we'll add about 2 teaspoons of red chilli powder. You can use Kashmiri chilli powder if you don't want to make it too spicy. Now we will add about 1 by 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder and saute well. Just sprinkle some water so that the masala doesn't get burnt. Cook on medium flame till the tomatoes get mashed up nicely. Now we will let this cool and grind it to a nice fine paste. We will grind it along with half cup of grated coconut. We will grind it to a very smooth paste. Now we will add 1 teaspoon of coconut oil in the same kadai. We will add a pinch of fenugreek seeds when the oil is hot and the ground paste that is the tomato, onion and coconut paste. Add some water, just about 1 cup of water, mix it well. And we'll add about 1 by 4 teaspoon of cumin powder and some curry leaves. Just crush it with your hands. This releases the flavor of the curry leaves. Now we will add tamarind extract that is a gooseberry sized tamarind soaked in 1 by 4 cup of hot water and the juice extracted. So we'll add it to the gravy. Mix it well. And we'll add the fish inside. You can add about four pieces of fish. Now I'm adding just two. You can add any fish. Now we'll add some salt. Mix it well. And we'll cover and cook it for five minutes on medium low flame. Fish cooks very fast so you don't need to cook it for too long about five to six minutes will do so it's been five minutes now our fish is cooked very well be very careful when you move the fish otherwise it will break we'll adjust the consistency of the gravy by adding some more water and bringing it to boil and we will garnish with some cilantro and now our delicious fish curry is ready to eat. Enjoy it with some hot rice and puppets.